the Earth is in a continuous and constant cycle of change, with erosion, deposition, weathering, uplift, and other factors altering and changing the surface features and the materials that comprise these features. The Earth's rocks are classified into three major divisions as igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic depending on their process of formation. Intact rock formations could have a direct impact on civil engineering construction, or could be the source of much of the construction material. These rocks are also the parent material of all soils. Given the complexity of soils and rocks and their importance in civil engineering work, a number of experts and specialists may prove valuable in planning and executing work with these materials. These experts and specialists include geotechnical engineers, civil engineers specializing in work with soils, engineering geologists, petrologists, geologists specializing in the study of rocks, geomorphologists, scientists who study landforms, and pedologists, scientists who study surficial soils, particularly for agricultural purposes. To the civil engineer, soil is the unconsolidated material of the earth's crust that can be dug or excavated without blasting. Natural soils exist in a wide variety of forms and provide the foundation support and much of the construction materials, example natural road base, common fill, select fill, stabilized soils, for many engineered structures. Natural aggregate deposits and quarried rock also provide large volume of construction materials such as broken rock and cut stone, crushed rock, and sand and gravels. Geotechnical materials perform many mundane tasks in civil engineering such as providing backfill, but they can also be processed to provide important civil engineering functions such as impermeability for a landfill liner or structural strength for pavement base course. As the primary component of Portland cement concrete, asphaltic concrete and bituminous surfacing, estimated to constitute around 95% by weight of asphalt concrete and almost 75% of Portland cement concrete, they provide some of the most economical and high-quality construction materials. Geotechnical materials in construction may be categorized in terms of product size, method of processing and end use. These are, cut and broken rock, like breakwater armor stone and rock core, embankment slope protection blocks, crushed rock, like coarse aggregate for concrete and asphaltic concrete, railway ballast, gabion stone, road base and sub base, bedding material. Sand and gravel, like screened river gravel, washed fine aggregate and sand filters, mortar and plastering sand, sand fill. Soil materials, like brick clay, natural road base, common and select fill. Geotechnical materials, soils and rocks, are at the heart of all civil engineering efforts, hence, it is incumbent on anyone involved in civil engineering design and construction to be familiar with the peculiarities of geotechnical materials and to be mindful of practical techniques for construction with these materials. It is virtually impossible to imagine any civil engineering effort and endeavor that is not influenced or affected in some manner by geotechnical materials.